All right, welcome back to a whole new series called Sessions. My name is Darren Field, and let's get started. All right, welcome back to Show Express Sessions. My name is Darren Field, and let's get started. Today's episode, we're going to be covering the D-Mix M by Chauvet. This little unit right here is awesome. It allows you to get an extra universe on Show Express without having to buy another Express 512 box. To do this, you have to go over Artnet, and a lot of people actually, uh, a lot of questions I get from all of you guys of how to set it up, how does it work, and so I figured it's time to make a video on this product um, because it's absolutely incredible and I guarantee it you're going to want to purchase this uh, after you see this tutorial. So uh, to kick things off, I want to uh, thank AGI Pro DJ. Uh, for making this uh, tutorial happen by providing us the DMX and and I have to say AGI Pro DJ is probably one of my favorite places to buy lighting equipment sound or whatever you need um, They are incredible with customer service and everything in between I highly recommend uh, You go through them when you buy your Chauvet DMX and and give them a call Let them know I sent you and they're gonna hook you up with the best deal of the day uh, So whatever that may be let them tell you so definitely go through them they're awesome people um and i guarantee you're gonna want to buy this after this so it's just it's let's just be real here anyways all right enough said let's get to it all right so right here is the dmx and it has a dmx two dmx outputs for two universes as you can see it has an ethernet i have a setup right here so i have a USB hub right here coming out of my computer. I have this one connected to my Express 512 box. You need to have this connected in order for this to work. You don't have to have anything coming out of the, the Express box. Both of your DMX um, cables are coming out of the DMX AN. Um, here is a just a USB to Ethernet um, adapter. Got the cord coming out, going back in. All right, let's head over to the computer side. And let's get this set up. The first thing you want to do is you want to connect your DMX AN to uh, your Ethernet connection, whether it's to directly the computer or how I have it through um, the adapter. Once you get it connect up, if you're on a Mac, you're going to go to System Preferences. And I'm going to cover PC side at the end of this just to let you know how to do it as well. So on the Mac side of things, you're going to System Preferences. You're going to go to Network. And after you plug in your DMX AN, you're going to wait until it pops up on this left side over here. Once it does, you're going to highlight it. It's not going to have any internet, but it's, you're going to be connected to it. And so there's a few more things to do. Next thing, you're going to go to Configure IP4, and you're going to click on Manually. Once you click Manually, you need to come down here to set the IP address. Now, the unit itself is 2001. Now, you need to set this IP address to anything from 2 to 255, your choice. So I can go ahead and set it to number 3. After you do that, Go down to the subnet mask and make it 255000. Once you do that, you're good to go. Go ahead and click out. Now you're going to go down to your browser. We're going to go right here and type in 2001. Like I said, that's the connection to the DMX AN. And now you're going to see the Chauvet DJ DMX AN device settings. Now you can name the device by whatever you want to call it. The IP address is 2001. That's what we have. The net mask is 25500. And you can also change it, but you have to change it back in the settings as well. So let's just keep it at 255000. All right, here's DMX port A, DMX port B. The port status, you can do it output or input. We're going to be doing outputs today on both, on both of them. The protocol is going to be ARTNET. And you do have you do have ACN as well and the frame rate. Let's keep it at 40. All right, universes. Keep it at 0 and 1. 0 is currently 1 DMX universe. Universe two, 1 is currently universe 2. Kind of confusing. So 0 is 1, 1 is 2. Um, if you would like to add more DMX ands, you need, this is key, you, to add another express box to give you um, another two universes. So one box equals two universes. Another box will give you four universes. Make that clear. So you can't buy another one of these and expect to get another two. You would need to get another box to unlock that. All right, cool. Once you set all that, you hit apply. And let's get out of that. All right, 
After setting up that, you're going to go down to Show Express. Now, next step in Show Express, you're going to hit Preferences. You're going to go to the network. You're going to go to Artnet. You're going to enable it. That's all you have to do. You can see down here is 2003. That's what we can set it to. And enable that and head over to main and put the quantity of universes at two. After that, click apply. It's going to ask you to restart Show Express and you're good to go. All right, so I've already went ahead and added a few uh, fixtures. The color band picks minis. I added two in Universe 2 and I have just one in Universe 1, but I'm going to add uh, another one for you just to show you the example. So go ahead and get all your fixture profiles and start adding them. So let's do this really quick. And let's do address one. Patch. Okay, after you add all of your fixtures and you patched them in where you want them, in order for the DMX and to talk to your fixtures, you need to set the Artnet IP address. To do this, you have to do this on every fixture that you have patched. So you're going to right click, you're going to click Artnet IP address, and you're going to set it to 2. 001 that is the connection for the DMX and so let's go ahead and click that and you can see this pop up right at the bottom of this and I did as these wells and you're gonna do it on your second universe too and I changed on the second universe I put it to a 65 and 83 just to show you a different um, DMX channel so I did over here 2001 2001 so now these fixtures are being talked to by the DMX and all right, make sure your DMX is enabled. Let's go to bring this down here. All right, here's universe one. And as you can see, the fixtures are on. This is DMX, this is universe one. Let's go to universe two. Let's put this green. All right, as you can see now, I am talking to the lights. They are responding. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, and let's jump over to Pixels. And in Pixels, once you set up all of your fixture profiles in Pixels, um, if you right click on your fixtures, make sure you have the Artnet IP in Pixels as well after you um, sync up of your DMX addresses in Pixels and set your different universes um, to, to correspond with the fixtures that you have on those universes. So um, make sure you do that in your Pixel scenes in order for pixels to talk to um, the DMX and so make sure add this right there perfect so I went ahead and created a scene in pixels and as you can see it's working beautifully awesome all right, so that's how you set up the DMX and it's not that difficult. It's super awesome, super convenient about uh, allowing you to have um, another whole universe to work with by using only one Express 512 box. Um, so with that being said, definitely head over to AGI Pro DJ. I want to thank them again um, for hooking this up with the DMX and and um, for all of you PC side, it's pretty much the same thing. Let's go to uh, the DMX and in Chauvet DJ's website. Going to come down here. And you're going to click on this DMX and Show Express Guide. It's a download. Go ahead and click on that. And this is going to show you on the PC side. Basically, instead of system preferences on a Mac, you can go to View Networking Connections. And once it pops up in the window, you're going to click on that. And you're going to find um, the properties. Once it's on property, you're going to go to IPv4, Internet Protocol version 4. Click on that, and you're going to change the settings um, like I did in um, on the Mac side of things as well. 2500, you can choose your IP address, whatever you need, um, and then click OK. And then the same thing, go to your web browser, 2001, it connects this up, sets up what you want, need for the device settings, and everything's the same in Show Express. So... That being said, I hope this helps, and until next time. All right, welcome back to a whole new series called Sessions. My name is Darren Field. 